Yeah, Randuin's, you get reduced crit as well. You also get to slow the entire enemy team for like 55% for two seconds, I think it is, right? So that can be very useful, especially if you go in Genius, because it's a lower cooldown. And you get health. Honestly, I would say in games, if you can, if you're versing like full attack speed and your teammates don't have Frozen Heart, then maybe you can go Frozen Heart, you know? Oh yeah, Randuin's also reduces AD. I forgot. This is a Sunder Bork game if I've ever seen one. Believe it or not, if I'm laning versus a Sauna or Udyr, they're going to be doing more magic damage to me in the early game than anything else. But it wouldn't be worth to go armor or MR here, just go health instead anyways, right? Like if you're versing an Udyr mid, all of his damage is going to come from his uh, ulti. If you're versing a Sauna mid, all his damage for the first few levels, like you're never going to get hit by his Q unless you're uh, an AI, right? And even then you could probably code an AI that'll dodge Sauna Q as Katarina. Most of the, all the damage you're going to take from Sauna in the early game is going to be Grasp, which is magic. W, which is magic, and then, uh, what else? His E, also magic, no? Why'd I do that? Why do you type rookie with an L? Yeah, see, I can't really do anything. I shouldn't even be queuing him. I'm just missing CS by doing that. Early game, this is how you play against this shit. Sound hard counters cap, by the way. Just letting you know. I I've talked about this all the time on stream. If you're playing mid lane against Katarina, don't play a mid lane champ. Play a top laner. <laughs> play a tank, play a fighter, play a bruiser. You're gonna have way more success than playing anything else. Well, I just fucked up that dagger as well. Yeah, once I have Sunder, it's lit. I need Sunder and then uh and then Bork, and then we're 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 chilling, but early game we just don't do anything, and that's where he can like take over. Nice. It's a good death, he would say. Do you think Bork or Sunder Rush is better in the sound? Anyone know from like playing at Sounds in top lane and shit? I feel like Sunder is still better. And then I go Bork. Seconds. Hmm. I think Bork Rush and then Sunder. I think I'll go I'll go Bork Rush this game. I'll go Bork and then Sunder, I think. Loki. I'm gonna be very squishy, but I th think we're gonna be chilling still. I'm gonna go Emax this game. That's not what I wanted to eat. Well, I got gaslit by my chat then. Uh, I'm never asking you guys for advice ever again. It seems like the intelligent people started typing later on. I missed my cannon. Dude, I don't want to eat that minion, but I had to. Doink. Kraken is, doesn't do anything on Katarina. It's worthless. You're just taking up a mythic spot for an item that does less damage than any other item you would build that's a non-mythic. You know? Yeah, so there's no reason to actually fight him here. 
Uh, every time I fight him, I'm not going to be able to kill him if he wanted until I have Bork. And every single time I fight him, he's going to get grass stacks and everything. So it's just like, you know, every time I fight him, he's going to be gaining 5 HP or maybe even more, you know? So we play for CS instead. He might be able to get like two grass procs on me every single battle. So it's just like, yeah, not worth it. Like, sure, we might chunk him a little bit. Probably not. But he'll get 10 HP permanently, so... Sorry. I didn't know my kindred had the damage. My kindred is literally fucking goaded. Holy shit. Is this Chinese? His name? I don't know, man. Chinese kindred smurf, bro. Nice. Well, Bork is in uh, 1k. Just under 1k. Oh! He cancelled auto. Fuck. Still kills. Problem is, if I roam, he just always gets like two plates. I have to stay. I, I will not be giving him two plates to this guy. That hit me? Maybe you shouldn't have stayed, man. Yeah, versing sound mid is like very, very cringe. Any tank mid. Because if you do roam, if you do roam, you miss everything, dude. You lose everything. You'll lose a fucking wave, and you'll lose two plates every single time. So you literally cannot even roam against champions like Sion and Udyr in mid lane. So versing tanks is like really fucked up as cat. Because not only do they beat you in lane, technically, they also outscale you, IMO, and they also get tower plates every time you roam, so you can't roam. They make it so you can't roam, you can't fight them. And you're gonna drop CS against them. So, tank mid lane is the way to go. Lit. Yeah, and the roam isn't guaranteed either. Luckily, he, he went bombies, so like... Usually, a sound could just walk up to my tower and take plates, take plates anyways if he just feels like it. But this guy went fucking bomby cinder, so I can just walk next to him and he gets tower aggro. One hundred gold. Gonna get a ward down here. I mean, that guy's unkillable. Wait, why am I not seeing these graves? So good. Now I push this, I can probably get a plate too. One plate recall. Pog. 
Don't build Kraken Slayer, man. Just don't. That's that's the <laughs> that's the answer. Just don't build it. Don't do it. Fork. Fork. Lost cannon. Never gonna be like power against this guy. My wave clear, man. Chunk him. Fork. Oh, did you? Sweet. 